here with baseball coach Nick Winicky. Coach, uh, a great start to the season for you guys down in Florida, 8-2 and two record. Uh, give me a sense from a coaching perspective how you're feeling coming off of your spring trip. Yeah, I thought the guys did uh, very, 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 very well. I thought they competed really hard. Um, I think all but one day, I thought one day we just didn't bring it necessarily the focus-wise. Um, but overall, I was happy. I uh, got a lot of guys in. Um, got to see a lot out of different guys we haven't seen over the last couple of years uh, in game scenarios. So it was a successful trip, but we got a, a lot ahead of us. So Let's talk a little bit uh, as, you, as you look at the, the spring trip, 10 games, uh, get to play outside, something you guys hadn't done. Is there anything that surprised you uh, from an individual performance uh, from, from the guys that maybe you didn't expect? Uh, I would just say in general, we, we had a couple of guys that uh, that are some juniors, a couple sophomores that really they've just uh, worked really hard in their time in the program, and it's really just rewarding <laughs> to see them step up when they get an opportunity and play really, really well. Uh, I don't think we were surprised by anything. I thought we played very good defense. Um, defense starts by the guy on the hill throwing strikes, and I, th I thought we did a, a very good job at that, and then I thought we did a good job of picking the baseball up and uh, throwing it across the diamond. So. You know, I know, I know it's a team game, and you're very much about team. But you've got to tip your cap to Jake Dawson, uh, MIC pitcher of the of the week. Uh, great performances down in spring ball, 12 scoreless innings. Uh, good to see him really kind of step up because he's going to be one you're going to need to rely on yeah, this year. Yeah, Doss had a great week, and um, it's something he has a he has a ton of talent. He's a he's a guy that has pitched a little bit out of our bullpen, some spot starts over the last two years, and um, he works extremely hard. He's extremely dedicated. A uh, good student uh, in the classroom. He's a good person. So just to see that hard work paying off. Um, but if you ask him, he, he'll probably say the same thing I am. That, that's really nice, but we have a lot ahead of us. Um, so the trip is good. You get to learn from it. Um, but like I say, you can't drive down the road looking in the rearview mirror. you got to be looking forward. So. And the nice thing this year, if you take this year and compare it to last year, is you guys come back from your spring trip, and two, three days later, you're outside again rather than, uh, yeah. being back inside. How important is that or how much of an advantage is that to, to not have to go back inside for an extended period of time and be able to, to practice outside? Yeah, it's been it's been great. We've been lucky since we've came back. We've been able to be outside since then. So um, seems like it seems like forever since the last time we've been able to do that. So the last two winters and springs have really been tough on us. Um, from a physical standpoint, um, there's some advantages. Obviously, you get to see the ball off the bat, outfielders especially, um, but more from a psychological standpoint. It's very difficult to be outside for a week, come back, and be inside not only for maybe a couple of days, but the last couple of springs for one week, two weeks, three weeks. So uh, that standpoint has been very, very nice. And really, uh, tomorrow, March 17th, you're back on the diamond. You play Northwestern, probably the earliest a St. Mary's team has played outside in Minnesota. Uh, talk a little bit about, about Tuesday's games against Northwestern. Yeah, we're really happy uh, that uh, we're going to be able to go up and play. We bumped the game up a week. Um, Northwestern has a beautiful complex, all turf, so we're going to be all set to go. It's supposed to be a really sunny day. Um, so we're just excited to get back out there. It really works with our schedule. We get to play Northwestern, then head down to Illinois for the weekend. And then uh, pretty much a week, uh, a week or a couple days later, we're at UWL. So um, the schedule is going to work out perfectly. The weather looks like it's going to hold here for a while. Um, so we're just really excited to get into a groove here and not to have uh, snow on the field. So. We, we back in action Tuesday at Northwestern, 2.30 start for the first game. Good luck. Thanks, Donnie.